Isaiah. Well, I know I have been extremely busy lately. I haven't been able to get out a video, but you know, things are just uh, picking up. Spring is here. It's time to plant. It's time to grow. Uh, in addition to that, there's a lot of uh, building projects that's coming up. I mean, I'm just working on a ton uh, of projects coming up. So it's just going to be a very, very, very busy uh, uh, spring uh, going into summer. But in addition to that, um, you know, going into the winter, there's a lot of good things that's taking place and, uh, uh, things that I've been able to learn and, and I look forward to applying. So basically, uh, what we have here is, uh, our, uh, spring, uh, garden. We have the lettuce, the tomatoes, the cucumbers, uh, the peppers are growing real nicely. Uh, you see the tomatoes here. We got some corn, uh, that we are going to transplant. Uh, there's an area on the other side of the greenhouse that I burned out that I plan on using just to plant corn over there. We have herbs in the back. Um, uh, what else we got? We got the collard greens going. So those are looking real nice. We got uh, string beans coming up. As you see here, we got about uh, five or six rows of string beans. We have uh, some, uh, what is this, Some uh, about six or nine zucchini plants going. I got some Brussels sprouts going in the back. Uh, things seems to be going okay uh, in the greenhouse. The key is now is that everything is planted to ensure that we are uh, consistently weeding because or de-weeding because if that stuff continues to come up man I me mean, your whole uh, uh, project is done for so uh, that's the name of the game is to ensure that we can maintain what we have uh, and I think the way in which I'm setting up uh, the system where having these is walkways uh, in the middle here and then planting in the uh, 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 center areas, uh, uh, it's going, uh, and it's going pretty well. So we have all our pepper plants. As you see, we got some, uh, good tomato plants coming up. I mean, in order to string them up, I have these poles. So, you know, I'm just kind of improvising, uh, as I go along, uh, in terms of how I'm going to do it. But in terms of, uh, you know, like specifically the tomato plants, I'm going to, uh, uh prune them in such a way that they don't take up uh, a, a large space and that is going to increase my yield as well and the same for the pepper plants um, as you see uh, the uh, lettuce are looking very nice and uh, we're going to start eating off of those but one thing I noticed is that uh, last year I had lettuce going and then uh, by the time the tomatoes were going I didn't have any lettuce so the idea is to start more lettuce seeds um, probably in another month or so, so that by the time the tomatoes are bearing fruit and the cucumbers are bearing fruit, we will have, uh, uh, you know, some output in terms of a, a complete, um, uh, salad. But this is what we're working on. You see, there is a, uh, a nice cucumber plant growing up, uh, real good. There's probably some moving around I'm going to do. I got collard greens growing in these areas. Um, like I said, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, beans are, are coming in, so things are going well. And then these, this area right here, I have not planted yet, but uh, it's all been uh, sheep shit and, and 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 chicken shitted up. So uh, good nutrients in the soil. It's been to so, uh, it's been uh, tilled in uh, in real nice. So uh, what I'm trying to figure out is what am I going to plant right here? I mean, this is uh, a good deal of space that I have not planted. Uh, but the, definitely this year, I want to make sure that uh, I am planting as much as possible because I have to get another freezer. Uh, you know, there's a couple of things that has to be done uh, to, uh, you know, make sure that I, I can uh, uh, produce uh, enough food for any uh, increases or the increases that are going to be, be taking place. So uh, another thing I wanted to give an update on is wood. Now, if you've looked at any of my previous videos, I mean, we had a lot of wood, but, you know, with burning with a, a couple of wood stoves at the same time uh this winter time you know i completely cleared through uh all of the wood as you see this is the area in which i had the wood i cleaned it all out and as you know i was able to put fencing all around uh the property but this is all of the wood that i have left so uh another thing that's you know just be been vexing me on my spirit is how am i going to go about uh you know replenishing wood because i plan on 
uh, adding two more wood stoves that's going to be burnt. I was looking for this. You see how this stuff works? I was looking for this. Now I found it. But uh, uh, I'll have two more wood stoves burning by uh, uh, this winter uh, coming up. So the name of the game is that, you know, after you get, you're talking about one wood burning stove, but then you're talking about two, three, four. You're going to have to find uh, a, a good source of wood. And what I was able to figure out is that, you know, uh, you know, sawmills, they cut off those uh, six by six posts and they always have loads and loads and loads of that wood that you can burn in a wood burning stove. So I was able to find a location where they sell that for a dump trail load for $20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get about probably about 10 loads. I mean, that's something that I'm just going to really load up on uh, because that saves you a whole lot of time and energy. And I'll be putting, uh, uh, you know, some, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, so, uh, some lean tos over here um, to, uh, use to store the wood, but, you know, some tarps and things of that nature. This is some excess wood that I have off of sites that I'll use to build up, uh, you know, some small lean-tos. But the name of the game definitely is to get as much wood as possible because, you know, I mean, that's some good stuff. I mean, and it burns just as well. Uh, and the labor, like I said, the labor intensity that goes into chopping down trees, uh, dragging them, chopping them up not that i'm not going to do that again but i'm just realizing now that uh you know it's just not as as you grow uh when it comes to you know additional wood stoves uh i.e additional homes uh or you know uh, uh cabins or what have you uh you're going to need exponentially more wood um and so uh that's the name of the game is to get uh, a, 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 as many dump trailers as i can of that wood so uh, you know, you can keep nice and toasty during the winter time, and that comes up to the notion of a dump trailer. You know, I got access to one. I mean, I can get one, uh, and I found a way to uh, get one practically for free. All I had to do is just go over to the guy's farm, uh, uh, work on baling hay, which I can get for free. All I have to do is go ahead, help him bale the hay, and he will give me um, uh, the hay that I need. So I was able to figure out wood. I was able to figure out hay um uh you know uh and a dump trailer in actuality i was thinking to myself i don't need a dump trailer what i need is access to a dump trailer because then i gotta insure it uh i gotta pay yearly fees on it you know and i don't want you know in kentucky you gotta pay you know every year for what you um what you drive it's amazing even though the car is paid off you gotta pay a fee uh to the commonwealth uh, you know, every year for every truck or every car that you drive. So, you know, why add the additional expense when I can just get access to a dump trailer um, when I need it, which now I have access to? Get as much wood as I need for twenty dollars a dump trailer. Uh, that eliminates my wood problem. Uh, in addition to that, uh, uh, it eliminates the uh, uh, hay problem. So uh, that's the name of the game there. And I'll be working on the guy's uh, uh, farm, you know, days that, uh, you know, I just I have or when he's bailing. Hey, he just said, hey, man, you know, just give me a call, you know, and uh, I'll hook you all of the hay that you need. So that was uh, definitely a blessing. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, just trying to give a couple of just quick updates. I'm going to be doing the expansion to the uh, uh, barn, uh, and I was able to get a load of red roofing material, so I have enough to do a lean-to all down the back. I was thinking about doing it, uh, uh, through the front, but from the height perspective, I'll probably do it on a 112 pitch. Um, all I need to do is make sure that it is eight feet by the time I get uh, out 10 feet. So the idea is that the sheet can uh, 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 sleep on this side and I can uh, uh, put you know, uh, uh, enough hay to fill up the other side. So I can do it either way, but it's enough for uh, the amount of sheet that I want to uh, uh, maintain at any given time. 
uh, as well as the hay to feed them. So I was able to eliminate a couple of different, uh, 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 I, I wouldn't say problems, but uh, um, uh, challenges that I was uh, thinking about ha having or was running into and the solutions uh, definitely uh, came to me. So, uh, you know, I definitely thank the father for that. And as well, these are the beams that I need to do the extension. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, just a little bit by a little bit, um, you can get it done. And I already have the two by four. So technically now I just have to get about four bags of concrete, but I have everything that I need now to do, uh, the extension to the barn for the sheep. So, uh, that's a quick update on, uh, the various projects. I will keep you posted. Shalom.